Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video we are going to look through these new Caliva Plan Go Wild goodies as well as, if I can find it, make a little bit of a page talking about and preparing for Go Wild. I, uh, I, I kind of filmed this out of order but I'm really excited to share all of these fun goodies, make a little bit of a page and talk a little bit more about Go Wild and a couple tips and tricks. I do also have a whole vlog series up on my channel. You can check that out from last year. I cannot wait for this year's Go Wild. I may make another video or two leading up to it with some more ideas and thoughts and things. But for right now, let's look at these new Caliva Plan goodies. All right, let's dive into these goodies from Caliva Plan. So these are available on her shop today. I do have an affiliate link down below. I'd really appreciate it if you use that to shop. Um, it just really helps out my account. And I'm really excited about this stuff and to start talking about Go Wild. Let me know down below if I will see you there this year in Texas. But let's dive into these goodies and then we can talk more um, after that. So... First off, and, and this isn't even everything, there are some other items coming as well. This is just what Heather had to send to me. Thank you again so, so much to Heather um, for sending these products. So we have a couple enamel pins or acrylic pins. So the first one we have Go Wild Dallas in this pretty cowboy boot situation. I love purple, so that is my favorite color. Then we have a cute little Go Wild planner, again saying Go Wild Dallas and a, how a cowboy hat and this matches all perfectly and these are really great if you if it's your first time a lot of people do wear pins on their lanyard that you get from go wild for the conference so these would be really great to bring with you and wear around for the conference all right let's look at the washi tape next there is a cute washi tape pack this one has lots of different planner elements on it then we have stripes with all the cute colors these are people in their pajamas for Plan Jamma. We're going to see these designs as well in the sticker book. So we'll take a closer look at them there. All the little cowboy hat, cowboy boot situation. And then this one has some like packing things like a water bottle, a suitcase, shoes, things like that. One more look at all of them together. Super fun. And now let's get into the goodies. So we have kind of a planner notebook hybrid here. And I think that this is a really great item to bring with you to Go Wild. We don't do a lot of planning at Go Wild, but you do want to have a notebook. So I think this is a really great option for that. So I love the cover, Go Wild Dallas, with the colors and a lot of those patterns that we've seen. It is on just plain white discs. All right. The cover page hey i heard you were a wild one my go wild 2024 plans and notes so we start with a monthly layout this is going to be i mean how i think most people will use this is this will be your monthly layout for the month of april because that is when go wild is so you can kind of plan your month look at your month at a glance you also could choose to use this for other things like memory keeping or whatever. You even could white out the headings here and use these for different things like an outfit planner or a meal planner while you're there or even like tracking budget stuff and having like start to finish and have it almost be like a game board as you're saving for Go Wild. So there's lots of ways to use this if you don't want to use it as a monthly layout. And then you're going to get, I think, six weeks. Let me double check that. Or five. One. Did I, did I miscount already? Three. I think it's five weeks, actually. Four, five of this weekly vertical layout. So the word, uh, the days of the week are in this purpley font. And then you do have that cheetah pattern down the spine, but everything else is pretty neutral. The sidebar, it's a little different than the classic Happy Planner where the note bar is over here. The reason I like this is because the weekend is all on the same page. Like this is like the work week and then this enters the weekend. Uh, and then this is just a nice dot grid. And then the whole back of the notebook here is gonna be lots of notebook paper. So this is gonna be dot grid kind of like a gray pattern. You do have this down the spine of the whole notebook and you're gonna get a bunch of pages. Let me just show you 
how many without counting. A bunch of pages of dot grid. And then we go into lined notebook paper. So just one right into the other. Oh, that's fun. Like the front of this is dot grid and then the back is lined. So that's interesting. <clears throat> and then this is going to be lined paper all the way through to the back here. So another big chunk there. You could utilize this for lots of different pages that you want to make, memory keeping, and just kind of as like a memory keeping notebook planner for the month of April would be really fun for, for um, Go Wild. And then here is the back cover. So honestly, this could be fun too. Like a lot of this you could utilize even if you weren't going to go wild. Like this is a really cute cover to have and then almost featuring like these elements. That would be really fun too. But anyway, let's look at the stickers because they are really, really fun. So there's over 1,200 stickers in here all about go wild and planning for go wild. I think we're gonna see two of every page. So this is on clear. We got lots of different cowboy boots. I really like this pattern a lot. I think it's really fun. It, it reminds me of Maleficent or like villain, Disney villain era. Okay, then we get a page filled with like, <laughs> this is funny, like drinks and just fun, like party Texas kind of vibes. Two pages of that. This would be great for like karaoke and, and planjama. Packing list and a whole page to help you create a packing list. I kind of wanted to like start setting up this planner in this video, but I think I want to save that. Because there's so many different pages I could make. And then, oh, a whole set for planjama. And I don't think that in, this is intentional, but some of these could be boys, okay? And for me, that's a big deal because there's always just girls. So, like, some of these, you know, are, are neutral. And so I would feel really confident in saying, like, that's me. You know what I mean? Or maybe this one. This one's fun. I don't think that's intentional, but I appreciate that they're neutral. <clears throat> um, okay, a whole page with, like, some fun planner items. I love that we feature a lot of the purple whenever we talk Go Wild, because, again, that is my favorite color. A whole page of Go Wild 2024 items, so, like, bucket list, places to visit, swag tracker. Oh, that's a fun idea. Spending tracker. And then, I mean, I'm not going to read them all. There are so many. And even a lot on here that could be to kind of plan the event. Like shop summit, registration, planner fair, welcome party, day one, day two, etc. Lots of really great words here. And you have two. So if you're like hoarding, you do have a second page, which I always appreciate. We have some great planner quotes here. This page would, page would be great even if you're not going to go wild, but if you're here, you probably love planners and stickers. We have some more quotes here, and this is all consistent with like the go wild kind of font that we're seeing for this year. Believe in your wildest dreams. It is time to go wild, wild and beautiful. Go wild. Lots, lots of wild themed quotes. And then we do get some of the cheetah print as well which will be great for the planner because you can kind of bring that pattern in. Like for example, if you're doing this spread, I would definitely want to bring these in like on the corners to bring that pattern in throughout the whole spread just to make it very cohesive. Some alphas in different colors. That's fun. And then at the back, lots and lots of colorful boxes. Good for the monthly, good for the sidebar. And this would be really fun too. Even if you don't have this, you could use this in your current planner or whatever notebook system you are going to use for Go Wild to just kind of bring all those colors and things together. So lots and lots of really fun items. Again, all of these are available today on Caliva Plans website. I will leave that linked down below uh, and it is a, an affiliate link. I really appreciate it if you use that when shopping.
Also, just because I know if you're here, you like goodies, I did also want to mention Amber Planter Day has some sticker books releasing today as well. I'm not doing a full flip through, but we have seasonal florals, which is really fun. If you're into Amber Planter Day stuff, I do also have an affiliate link and a coupon code for her down below. Um, so definitely check that out. This one's really fun. Um, it's just really functional. I shouldn't say fun. I should say functional. <laughs> but just functional words and icons and great things, even boxes, to-do lists, lots of great things. I just wanted to share, because I'm not doing a separate video for it, that this is also releasing today. But anyway, back to Go Wild. <laughs> okay, I decided I actually am going to maybe make like one page to kind of start using some of these stickers and also share, rather than doing like a front-facing video, because it's late and y'all don't want to see that, <laughs> um, we will kind of do it while I'm putting together a page. I think what I'm thinking I'll probably do is do it so it'll go right from the weekly into this kind of fun spread here. And I want to bring in just a little bit of everything, maybe some of the fun stickers, some of these words, and just kind of do a little bit of an overview page with some of the details um, is kind of what I'm thinking. Just a, as like a one-stop shop, let's, let's get started like photos I want to take, people I want to meet. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let's find some fun stickers to get us started. My problem, I think, is I'm going to want to hoard some of these, and we can't do that. I'm really bad at that. So I think these are fun. Let's do these. Maybe even like one on each side. But anyway, I want to hear, I already said this, but I want to hear down below if you are going wild this year. How do I want to do this? I think in order for it to be cute like this, it does have to come from the bottom. So maybe we'll do it there and there. We're going with it. Uh, but I want to hear if you're going wild and what your plans are. I do actually have a whole vlog series on my channel. Uh, I don't remember, actually. I'll link it for you. I don't remember, like, how many videos. I, don't, I think it ended up not being as long as I originally intended, just because when you're there with everybody, they're, I mean, they're, it, you're just having so much fun and time and like responsibilities kind of just like disappear, if you know what I mean. Like everyone's just there having a grand old time, living their best lives. And so, you know, vlogging and planning and things like that fall to the wayside a little bit because it's so fun to be in a place, to be in a room where all of these people are planners and understand this kind of weird obsession that we all have of stickers and talking about goals and washi tape and things like that. Like, it's just, it is really fun to bring that into a room and everybody just, just gets it. You know, like-minded people, it's a lot of fun. It's just, you know, we're just there having a good time. So um, I'm so excited to go again this year. Um, let's do this one at the bottom. And I guess we will cut it off here. Just kind of like that. Oh, I was debating bringing in one of these other fun ones too. Like maybe this one with the planner items. I think this one's cute. Um, okay, I want to share some like tips and things. Some thoughts about Go Wild if it's your first time or whatever. Uh, maybe some insight from from... You know, when I when I went for the first time, I looked up all of the vlogs, the tips and tricks videos, like anything just to kind of give me a little bit of an idea because it is nerve wracking for your first time. I think that's fun just to add. So we will do that up here, too. Um, so just a couple thoughts if this is your first time or your eighth time or whatever. So um, thing number one is you are going to need extra suitcase room on your way home, okay? Trust me when I tell you, you're going to get a lot of swag. You're going to get gifts from lots of people there. 
you're, it, it's just, it's part of it. It's part of the fun. Even if it's not even like necessarily things that you think you would buy for yourself or actually will use. It's just kind of part of the fun, I think, is just getting lots of different stuff. And, and it's cool too, to try those different things. You know, you see companies, you experience people that, that do lots of different styles of planning. And so it's kind of fun to um, play around with those different, different things as well. Um, I want to do some other, like, just cluster, maybe like a cluster of cowboy boots. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. This whole bottom row can kind of be like a collage of boots. Is that fun, maybe? Um, so uh, what, what a lot of people actually end up doing is if you're flying you get like a big suitcase, right? And then you put inside of it a little suitcase or like a carry-on size. And that's what you stuff with your stuff on the way there. And then on your way home, you just separate it and you have two bags, one that's filled with swag and one that's filled with your stuff. So that is one option. I know um, you also could, do I want to turn the boots? Yes, I do. Oh yes. How fun is that? I should take this off the discs. What am I doing? Um, you also could, like, shove a rack sack, like, in your bag if, if you have a bag that folds up. The reason I tell you this is because last year, I mean, my friends knew this, but somehow we still ended up at, I want to say it was Marshall's, maybe, or TJ Maxx or something, and you, girls, you know, if you're watching this, you know who you are, but some people had to go and buy... <laughs> Buy some some uh, some suitcases for the ride, ride home. Let's just let's say that. So if you can avoid that and save some money, that would be my recommendation. Okay, I think I want this one like that. I'm just kind of making a fun pattern with these right now, and then the uh, everything else I want to be functional. But you know, while we're doing it, why not have some fun? I think that can go right there. Um, also, while you're there, it can, like I said, be nerve-wracking, especially if you don't know a lot of people. But I think everyone will agree you should just be very open-minded and ready to make new friends, to meet new people, and to just have a good time. Even with some people that maybe you wouldn't expect to connect with or you know like just I think it's important to just be open-minded and ready to have fun because that is why everyone's there everyone just wants to have a good time and be together and celebrate this crazy thing that we all love planners so um just that's I think a really important thing is to just be open-minded and ready to have a good time and meet people you get out of it what you put into it. You can say that for a lot of things. Um, if you're, you know, nervous or shy or whatever, I totally get it. But try and take yourself out of um, your comfort zone a little bit and get ready to meet people and have a good time. Because you get out of it what you put into it. What else can I share? Bring snacks. That's a big one. Sometimes there's not maybe a ton of time for um for eating <laughs> and so bring snacks with you listen i am hungry i'm ready to eat <laughs> all the time um so this is a biggie i love just having some snacks it, it, it's helpful too i hope i'm not going too overboard i think i just want a little one here maybe um i think that bringing snacks can be good um, and also, like, don't be afraid to take a break, right? Like, nothing's mandatory if, if, it's easy to have FOMO and not want to miss anything, but at the same time, like, if you need to just run out and get a coffee or get a bite to eat or something, like, live your best life. Do, do what's best for you at the end of the day. Okay, let's put this here. I love all these, like, patterns. Um, I think it's a little bit lower. I think I want one here. So we're going to try this one. Like that. 
Um, let's pause for a moment and go from there. I feel like before I know it, the whole page is just going to have boots. I just thought that would be fun to like add a little bit of a pattern. It's a little different, something I don't always do. Um, okay. So let us do some boxes, I think. I'm going to try this funky size just because why not? Let's do this here. And I'm just gonna start putting some boxes out, I think. What I like about this is then pairing it with a box like this and putting that, oh no, <laughs> not that one. Let's try This. I didn't want it to end on the same line. I needed it to be longer. So we're going to do it like this. Put that there. And then this one. I guess I could do this one here. Okay, so we have a little cluster of boxes there. Let me do the same thing up here. I think with one of these again, let's do a pink one. And I'm gonna kind of do it backwards a little bit. Do this here. A full box. And I'm gonna do the purple to bring in that color. So we'll do it. Purple one right there, and then let's try this one. And I would love a blue as well, just to bring in all of the colors. I love these. I'm definitely going to make a whole page with them. I think that's so fun. Um, I think I want a square if there is a square. Hmm. There is not. Instead, we'll do that. All right. And that is a good start. So let me look at these words now, because I want to talk about some of these things. So I think this is definitely fun. Places to visit. And I think we can do that right here. Oh. No, sorry. I was thinking that like this entire cluster of boxes could be that, but I want to do more than just one thing. So this will be places to visit. Let me do a similar thing over here. Maybe people I want to meet. The problem is that's huge. Um, I'm going to try and cut this. And we will do this here. And then people I want above that. Yeah, I like that look, okay? And then we can do like a couple other little ones. Roommate info, we'll do here so I can talk all about my roomie and my friends so that kind of all fits together. Oh, I'm so excited to see my friends. And then let's do 
I really want to do those photos I want to take, but that feels like it's aggressive. So... Instead, I'm going to just take a couple more of these and put them around. good about where we are right now as I was doing that and as I'm looking for a couple more things to add um, some other ideas and things I had to talk to you about table make gifts you're gonna hear about them it is usually I think day two of the conference everybody that's at the table that you're at um, does like a little swap and usually people have gifts for each other I want to say it's like 10 people to a table. So you bring nine table make gifts. However, you do not have to do that. That is a big piece of advice. It stresses a lot of people out. And do not let it stress you out because it is not necessary. It is not required by any means. I kind of wanted to add a quote, but not purple. Because I feel like it matches that too much. Um, so yeah, definitely don't feel obligated to do, to do that. Roommate gifts, again, if you, I mean, you should talk to your roommate about that situation. Um, but, and if you don't have a roommate, there are people you could check out in the Facebook group for all of the participants. And usually there are people there looking for roommates. Uh, oh, I kind of love this. Making someone feel seen, heard, and understood is what WILD is all about. I think that that is like the perfect representation of what Go Wild is. So I want this. I love that. And then I do want one here. Although I don't know why I was thinking no purple, because now I'm thinking that purple would go really nicely right here. So let's try that. I know it's a lot of those, the that script and that words and a, a lot of things happening, but I feel like that's pretty cute. Um, okay, do I want to bring in anything else? I was wondering maybe from these pages to add, like, this is so fun. I feel as though this has to be in the spread. Like, I feel like that would be fun just to kind of layer right there. Or maybe, let me move it over maybe, so it's with the quote, so that it's not like... Nope. Nothing feels right. Why does nothing feel right? Let's go with that. And then I love the microphone. I feel like I need to bring in the microphone and do that. Just kind of right there. It's like a fun little thing. Maybe some of these music notes and stars throughout. Yeah, let me try that. And then I was thinking maybe one more big thing here. I don't know, that may be too big. Oh, you know what? I feel like it works. It filled that spot. I know a lot is happening, but I think I want to go with it. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple more little elements and then we will wrap her up. All right, I know a lot is happening on here, but I am pleased with how this came out. So basically in the planner, this will go right from these pages, which you'll see more of this planner and notebook in 
the coming weeks, I would say, probably more like March and April leading up to the trip, we'll start really putting this together and actually filling it out and thinking about all the things, making a packing list, making um, a bucket list, making a savings tracker. There's lots of other things that we can do in here. But that is going to be all for today's video. Check out the these products and so much more using my affiliate link down below. And until next time, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.